One time, one politician walked into me and told me, I like the work, you are doing wonderful work. But if I have the power, I will do the same. So I told him, without power, I am doing. <laughs> it's almost equal to Alexander the Great went to his master. It seems I was not present then. And he asked, told his master, I am going to conquer the world. And the master told him, after conquering, what will you do, Alexander? Alexander the Great told his master, I will rest. Immediately, the master said, without conquering, I am resting already. <laughs> Immanuel Kant, born on 22nd April 1724, died on 12th February 1804 was German philosopher and one of the central enlightenment thinkers. Born in Königsberg, Kant's comprehensive and systematic works in epistemology, metaphysics, ethics and aesthetics have made him one of the most influential figures in modern Western philosophy. Immanuel Kant said, we are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. <laughs> The total philosophy of India was like that, the joint family philosophy. Nobody goes hungry in India because Indian thinking and the Western thinking is too different. Here you can walk into any house, any time of the day or night. Most of the time, 99.9% the doors are not closed, especially in the village, they don't believe in keeping the doors. Anybody walks in and the moment they walk in, the first thing is, please have something to drink. They give, they don't even say, please have something. They say, drink, drink, they divorce the cup of water to you and then they're followed by tea or coffee. They will force the food into, please eat, eat, eat and then they'll say, Stay here for one or two days, yes. We are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without, without any money in the hand, any money in the hand, without massive big buildings. India survived 600 years of Muslim invasion, 200 years by the Christian invasion, by the British, French, uh, Dutch, Portuguese, yes. And still they could convert only a small portion of the people to their thinking of their religion. We are not rich by what we possess, but what we can do without. Nobody is bothered, yes. When there is, today, there was a question from an American lady. My husband goes to Thailand every year. I do not know what's the reason. The reason every, everybody knows the Western concept is when you go to Eastern countries, when you come to the East, they're thinking sex is very easily available, especially in Thailand, they're going for sex. But they have forgot to understand why men are running out from their countries, Western countries to Eastern countries in search of sex. There was a write-up an interview by a Calcutta uh, person about the Calcutta brothels where prostitutes do their sex trade. And this person who was interviewing the brothel persons asked why this middle-aged men and elderly men are always around here. And this women said, not almost every day, they are there every day, every day. Is it for sex? They said, no, 99.9% .9 we don't even talk sex. In the beginning, maybe when they came, but now we don't even talk sex, neither we even touch also physically. Just they wanted to come, they discuss their family matters. Sometimes if we have any problems, they give a helping hand. Yes, 
try to understand people are looking the joint family system helped people from avoiding from psychological problems there is no hungry because anybody can walk into any house in a house in a joint family maybe one or two member of the head of the family are very powerfully working all others they said relax yes not a problem relax and still they didn't become poor they allowed yes and every day a child is born a child goes to the school get admitted to the university get a job while a girl is pregnant in the house marriages keep happening deaths keeps happening and varieties of relatives walking in and walking out because the joint family system yes and varieties of festivals still there was a lot of wealth and when the foreigners came to plunder nobody said no because aditi devo bhava they took everything and still there was everything they took everything and anything and everything but there was everything anything and everything was still there because art is such love is such we are not rich by what we possess but what we can do with our without richness that was the richest culture that if you practice now i see in the big cities like uh, bangalore and all those are shut we we used to joke in in our school in our ashram when the, when you go to the city houses especially the dirty kerala houses you go inside and when we come out when you put our feet inside our auto rickshaw car that time they'll come and ask would you like to have coffee or tea <laughs> then we say no 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 and the moment we enter they'll keep asking first thing is when are you going when are you going <laughs> but the other way around in the villages in our pure joint family villages as you go in immediately the rush up with a pot of water to wash your hands and legs if you cannot they themselves especially my <laughs> feet and all they always come and clean it up and put a nice uh, arati that is a lamp ah the lamp and they put a yellow and red color powder and all and all this has got antibiotic problem <laughs> thinking this samaj is going to so many places so his dirt should be clean before he could enter the house that is his deep down medical thinking it's true thoughts so but we feel it is love the moment we enter could we could we please drink please we don't even ask what whether you want coffee or tea whatever they give us could we could we we must drink and then is a thin please have food and not have food and go no no eat eat they keep on feeding you and then they say you will go after one week or one month please stay here please be with us please stay here. please be with us. can you believe that without anything without any ends mother teresa kept on till i go to the poor people so that is maybe in the in the city mother teresa is talking and you know i don't take tea or coffee or anything we carry a small bottle and we drink that one so any house we go we refuse to take because uh well, if i take tea or coffee from a rich place and i go to the poor place they offer coffee the moment they see me they run to the neighborhood shop they borrow money borrow the tea powder and the sugar they make because of me i shouldn't put them in trouble so i do not eat or drink anything from any any houses mother doesn't know about the village the village it is not the borrowing it is just the sharing there's nothing like borrowing if there is nothing they ask the next door person next door person like, hey give me one chili give me one sugar give me one salt love relationship between the women love relationship between the men saving they do not know because the love is the greatest savings <laughs> which the rich in the western countries they saved not the love they they didn't save the relationship they saved money and in the when they became old they are, they don't have the children they have thrown them into the old age homes and they worry about the bank bank has become the relatives biggest robber in the land the banks don't have any money can you believe and without any money they are lo giving loans to people such a greatest gangster in the world and to make people to put money into the bank and destroy the relationships emmanuel kant said we are not rich by what we possess but what we can do with thought the love relationship the smile sitting next to text bump to bump this 
your husband is going to Thailand because you can hug and kiss a small baby, a little grown up baby, a big child, a father and mother, a grandfather. You sit together, eat from the same plate, sleep together also, take bath together, laugh together. They don't make a difference. Sex never enters the brain. It is just pure sharing, which is always a suspicion in a nucleus family. That suspicion, familiarity breeds can every day seeing the same person. Activity was not there. Then all the money went to the hospitals. The hospitals have become your relatives. To psychology, psychiatrists became your relatives. <laughs> death, a slow poison death. Come out of that, what Immanuel Kant said, be rich without money. Yes, without money, you can become rich. Share it up and money flows. Mother Teresa kept telling every time, the more you share, the more it comes back to you. <laughs>